The signals on the gantry are moved by servo motors. Bouncing semaphore controllers operate these servos. If you do not want the bounce, you could use the single servo controller instead. Semaphore signals are normally at danger. They are changed to clear by a signalman when it is safe for the train to pass the signal. Once the train has passed, the signalman returns the signal to danger. This can be replicated automatically on a model railway. The approach of the train is detected by infrared, which triggers the circuit board controlling the servo. The simple way to do this is with the AirDot 1 AD. A more sophisticated way uses our AirDask 1. This is the AirDot 1 AD. These are the infrared detector and emitter. They fit in a hole in the baseboard. The AirDot 1 AD is located before the signal where you want the train to change the signal to clear. For realism you need a few feet in front of the signal. I have connected the AirDot 1 AD to a 12 volt DC power supply to demonstrate its detection and timing. There are red LED lights when it detects a train. After the train has passed, the AirDot 1 AD's built in timer keeps the AirDot 1 AD in its detected state. The timer is adjustable in 3 second steps up to 27 seconds. Whilst the AirDot 1 AD is detecting or timing, its terminal A is activated. Terminal A is wired to the servo controller to keep the signal that clear. The length of the timing is set by connecting link wires from the zero terminal to combinations of these three terminals. There is a table in the instructions showing the times. Here is the servo motor which moves the signals on. The lead from the servo motor plugs into the single servo motor controller. The single servo motor controller is powered from the same 12 volts power supply as the AirDot 1AD. The, the pink wire is the wire that goes from terminal A to terminal F on the single servo controller. When the train comes along it's detected, the signal goes to clear and after the timing period ends the signal will go back to danger. We have shown how the AirDot 1AD uses a timer to control the signal. The AirDAS-1 uses infrared detectors before and after the signal. It allows interlocking to the next block section up the line or to points. It can also operate two aspect colour light signals. We will be making a video about how to use the AirDAS-1 in the future.